What's up, my friends? This is Coach Bob with SweetLifeFitness.net. Today I'm talking about the Insanity Max 30 modifier. If you're a little bit overweight or you haven't worked out in a long time, you hear all the buzz and all the excitement about something like Insanity Workout or Insanity Max 30, which is only 30 minutes a day, but does that mean that somebody like you can be a rock star and do this thing and get good results? Well, I did a modified version, I did a little bit of testing, and I'm excited to share with you my results right now. So the big difference between Insanity Max 30 and any other at-home workout program that I've ever seen is that you can actually put it on an option on the screen to have a modifier frozen. I think that's so awesome. So many times I've seen different programs where they'll have like, you know, you, you see the trainer and they're like, okay, this is the modifier right here. Take a look at him. Okay, now I'm going to go completely over to the other side. And then you're like, well, wait a minute. I need to follow the modifier. How do I keep doing that? And then you get so mad, you get so frustrated, and you're just like, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Well, the cool thing about Max 30 is it does freeze frame it. So no matter where Sean T moves throughout the entire workout, boom, right there, you see the modifier, and you can follow along step by step throughout the entire 30 minutes. But I thought to myself, I'm like, okay, there's a, there, I see a big difference between the normal Insanity Max 30 and the modifier version. So what I decided to do in month two, which if you haven't done this program yet, month two is so much harder than month one, and I decided to do the max out cardio on modification mode, fully from point A to point B, minute one to minute 30, completely modified. So I followed along step by step, and I tracked my calories, and I tracked my heart rate. Now you gotta think about, you know, everybody is different, you know, depending on your weight depending on your age, depending on everything. There's a lot of different factors that factor into how many calories you're gonna burn per workout and how your heart rate is gonna go. Especially if you're older, your heart rate's gonna be lower. If you're younger, you can push your heart rate higher. But the point is, can you still get good results? Well, I did this workout and I'll tell you what, I um, actually maxed out 19 minutes and 21 seconds during the modified move. And the reason being is the lunge, punch, kick. Lunge, punch, kick. That particular move, lost my form. So I had to I had to max out, I had to stop because I, I messed up, kind of tripped a little bit, and I said, hey, I didn't I didn't keep up. But here, here, here you go, ready? Here's how many calories I burned. Four hundred and seventy five calories in thirty minutes. Now compare that to the normal insanity max thirty when I wasn't modifying on max out cardio, I burned five hundred and ninety three calories. Not much of a difference. Now, again, there's a lot of different things that can weigh on that. Was I bringing it as much? Was I digging deep enough? Was I tired? I mean, there's a lot of things, but that to me right there, if you take out all the what ifs, gives some hope. I mean, you know, think about that. I was able to burn 475 calories following a modified move, not a whole lot of jumping, not a whole lot of high impact, not a whole lot of shenanigans. My heart rate averaged 140 beats per minute. During the normal, non-modified, my heart rate was at 160 beats. And then my heart rate maxed out during the modified version at 158 beats per minute. And then on the normal, non-modified, it maxed out at 178. So I want you to think about that. Now, what do, what do all these crazy numbers mean? Well, what they mean is, no matter what you do, your goal is to do the best that you can do. So what I recommend is if you're gonna follow the modified version, or if you're overweight and you're thinking about buying this program and you're thinking, can it work for me? Yes, and here's why. I felt that the modified move, when I did it from you know minute one to minute 30 was a completely different workout. When I'm doing the normal max out cardio workout, my butt is to the floor, I'm dying. But when I did the modified version, it flowed so much better for me. It, it, it was awesome, I felt like I got a good workout in, and it helped me focus on my form and my muscle control, so that way when I do decide to say, you know what, Instead of modifying today, I'm going to try to do two moves full out. Maybe next month or next week, I'll do three months full out. And that's your goal. So if you're starting this thing and you haven't worked out in ages, or you've never worked out, or you might be obese, I want you to think about that for a second. How can I personally start off slow and build myself to the goals that I want to achieve? Don't get frustrated trying to keep up with Sean T. Don't get frustrated trying to keep up with the people. Only focus on your goals. And if you do that, you're going to get what most people fail to realize. You're going to get the results because you're sticking with it and you're staying consistent. Now, right there tells you, if I'm burning 
475 calories during the modified version versus 593 during the unmodified version, there's not much of a difference there in my personal opinion. So no matter what, yes, it's a lot more of a nicer, calmer workout, but it's also pushing you to the next limit, to the next level, so you can get the results that you deserve. And the key and the support and the success tips are, one, track your progress. Know exactly how many calories you're burning and how your heart rate is fluctuating. Get yourself a heart rate monitor. Number two, make sure you're following the nutrition plan to a T. Don't screw yourself up and waste all your time at 30 minutes a day if you're not going to follow the nutrition guide. You're going to end up frustrated and wondering why you didn't get results. Number three, always try to improve yourself. You're in a competition with yourself, not me, not the other people on our team, not anybody on the workout DVD. Your goal is to get better than your prior self. And if you continue to do that week after week, you're going to start noticing a change and you're going to be so excited about it. So keep rocking it. If you're not plugged into our community yet, click below. You can join Sweet Life Fitness for free. Or if you haven't gotten Insanity Max 30 yet, join us. We're here to support you all the way from step A to step B. So all you got to do is click the link below. You can get connected with us. You can get your program no matter where you live. And then we'll rock and roll and help you along the way. So I hope this video was helpful. If it helped you out, click a like button below. Share it. And most importantly, subscribe because I got more shenanigans coming your way. Thanks for watching, guys. Have an awesome, awesome day.